So I just did a ton of research comparing computer science and mechanical engineering because a few years ago I actually made the choice between the two. And this is kind of the video that I wish I had when I was trying to make that choice. So I feel like if anybody is out there trying to compare these two majors, well, this video I am making for you and for my past self. I definitely have a slight bias as to which one I chose because I chose computer science over mechanical engineering. I started for one and a half years as a mechanical engineering major, and then I decided to switch in my halfway through my sophomore year to computer science. I would say for me, that was the right decision because I had certain things that I wanted out of my major that I couldn't get from mechanical engineering. However, that does not mean that mechanical engineering is a bad major. In fact, there are many people that would not like computer science at all over mechanical engineering and vice versa. It really depends on your personal preference and that's what we're gonna to try to figure out in this video. Something that was very important for me was thinking about skill reusability. And what I mean by that is, what will I be able to use on my own if I go throughout the whole degree and I don't get a job in the field? Could I use this somewhere else? And for mechanical engineering, you definitely could apply it to other fields. I felt that computer science just applied to everything. And if I wanted to do something on my own, I could make an app, I could make a website. It could just be a useful tool to have in my tool belt. While mechanical engineering was just more of a means to an end to get a job. And for me, going off and doing my own thing in the future is always the end goal. I don't see myself working a job forever. And for some people that's perfectly fine. But for me, one of the things that I want to do is just really create my own success, I guess is basically what it down, comes down to. And I see computer science as a great tool to have to help with that. Sure, mechanical engineering, you could start your own company making physical goods. However, that is a lot harder to do because there's a lot more upfront cost. Like I've made a few apps and it's literally zero money down. You could just make an app and if it works, you start making money from it. You didn't have to invest anything else but your time. So let's just jump right into the most important factor for most people and that is the salary. And if you're using salary as your metric for deciding whether or not to switch, it's not gonna get you very far because the difference between the two is not that significant. A few years ago, mechanical engineering was in the lead with the average, and now it looks like computer science has caught up, if not surpassed mechanical engineering. Uh, if you go to different websites, they may say different things. I looked at a bunch of different websites uh, from ZipRecruiter, Payscale, the US Bureau of Labor Statistics, and a few others. And it seems like they go back and forth a few times where some of them say mechanical engineers make more on average. Some of them say that computer science makes more on average. I would say, however, though, that it was leaning more towards the computer science side, making more. So you could basically expect to make around sixty to $70,000 for an entry-level job. And then once you get to the mid-career, you got your experience going, you could expect to make about 115000 in both majors. So if salary is one of your main deciding factors onto whether or not you want to switch majors, it, you really can't go wrong with either choice because both of them have very similar pay and they're, they're pretty high for the national average. However, these average salaries are not taking into account what the future growth rate of these salaries could be in the future. Because as I said before, computer science was lagging behind a few years ago, but it has caught up and even surpassed mechanical engineering. So it's obviously a growing industry and it's actually increasing in pay because the, the rate at which it's growing is growing faster than the rate of people getting the education to learn programming. And that will take me into my next subject, which is job availability. For computer science, it has been growing at an astonishing rate of about 20 to 30% per year. There were 1,469,000 jobs total for computer science in 2019, and 316,000 of those were new jobs that year. When you compare that to mechanical engineering, there were actually 316,000 total jobs in 2019, which is actually exactly the same rate at which computer science grew. I think that mechanical engineering grew about 12,000 jobs that year. When you compare the two, it's very obvious which one is growing faster currently. However, computer science is a new field and it is hard to tell how much it will continue growing or once it gets oversaturated with programmers. However, you do have to look at these numbers with the whole picture in mind because Maybe some of the people that graduated with mechanical engineering don't actually have the exact mechanical engineer title at their job. So maybe that's the cause of the low numbers for mechanical engineering. In fact, through my research, I found that a lot of these websites say that one of the most common career paths for someone with a mechanical engineering degree is software development. So if you choose mechanical engineering, you could still do both in the future. If you choose computer science, it is much harder to do both in the future. So if you really can't decide right now and you want to keep your options open and you don't want to make a decision right now, it would be better to choose mechanical engineering 
because you still have that choice if you want to switch to software development. It will be a little bit harder than if you have the actual computer science degree or some sort of software degree, but it's not impossible. For computer science, it's closer to impossible to switch to mechanical engineering without getting that education. Either way, whatever degree you choose doesn't have to lock you into a particular career. You have the choice for the rest of your life if you want to switch at any point. However, it is a little bit harder, as I said earlier, that if you choose computer science, it's harder to switch to engineering. But if you choose engineering, you have that broader choice of doing both. So if you really are on the fence, I would say do mechanical engineering, even though I chose computer science. Because I know for me personally, computer science was the right choice. If you start off college doing mechanical engineering, one of the things that you could expect to see in your degree is a lot of fun group projects and things that you need to innovate on. Although that is a lot of fun during the degree, it portrays kind of a false picture of what mechanical engineering is like after you graduate. So for me, I had a lot of fun doing those projects. In fact, one right above me right here uh, won me first place. And there's also another little one that you can't see that's underneath that one. Both of those projects were tons of fun and I liked doing things like that. And I won first place in both the projects that I did. So I obviously was uh, decent at it. And if that's how things kept looking outside of college, I probably would have pursued that path because I enjoyed it and I was pretty good at it. However, when I started doing some research into future jobs, a lot of people kept saying the same thing, that you don't use that much math in reality and you do a lot of repetitive tasks. Of course, there's a small percentage of jobs that are very innovative and you, you work on huge projects that everybody uses, but those are hard to come by. For the majority of the people getting a degree, it's gonna be more like the first case, where you're just doing the same thing over and over again with small changes every day. And that's why for me, computer science looked like this nice little shiny thing that was what I really wanted to do in the future. Because when you look at what jobs are like for computer science, you're constantly solving problems and you're constantly learning new things. And that has its pros and its cons because for the mechanical engineering, you're definitely gonna have a little bit less stress doing the same thing over and over again. While computer science, you're always being forced to learn the cutting edge stuff, so you're never done learning. So for me, that's a little bit of a plus, but for a lot of people that could be a huge con because you kind of want to just invest this time in learning and then you could be done with it if you do mechanical engineering for the most part. Obviously there's stuff that you gotta learn in both, but for computer science, it's constant. You're just constantly keeping up with new, new technology and programming languages, but it's also a ton of fun, innovative projects where you really get to have an impact on what things you create. And that's one of the things that I really want to do. So for me, again, computer science was the better choice because of this factor. Although this last thing may not be very helpful, when it comes to the question of computer science versus mechanical engineering, only you are the person that can decide which one is right for you. That definitely isn't helpful, and I hate when people say that sometimes about different things, but in this case, it really is true, because just because I chose computer science, there are many people that mechanical engineering is the better choice for them, and you have to decide which kind of person you are. And hopefully the things that I talked about in this video will help you make that decision and lead you on the correct path. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. It really helps me out, and I hope that this video helped you make the right choice. If you wanna see more videos from me, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.